This is a tutorial of our web dashboard product. The web dashboard was developed so that you can quickly see the data and information that is most relevant to you. And we add a lot of customization abilities to this feature. I have my web dashboard pulled up for today's MLB games. And the first thing to note is that you can pull up a dashboard in multiple different categories. Uh, you can look at the public betting view, which shows uh, the public ticket percentages from each game. The sharp picks view is going to show you the discrepancy between the number of tickets and the money coming in on a game. Um, so you can see what the public sides are, what the sharp sides are. You can look at value bets or best bets, which shows BetQL's proprietary ratings for each game. And you can also drill into the individual bet types, money line, run line, total, first five innings, and you can also look at a line movement view. I am right now going to go to the public betting view. And when I first load the dashboard, I'm going to be looking at the default view, which shows some basic things like the teams playing their records, the start time, starting pitchers, current money line, uh, the BetQL value rating, the ticket percentage uh, on the money line, as well as the money percentage on the money line. So again, that is the percentage of tickets being written versus the percentage of money coming in with games that have a larger percentage of money than tickets, um, being an indication that there is sharp money on that side. And that is uh, expressed in this pro edge column to the far right, where we are subtracting ticket percentage from money percentage. But uh, the nice thing about the dashboard is that you can customize it to your preference. So you can do that by clicking on add and remove stats. You can see to the far left, we are looking at a consensus view right now, which combines multiple books into one line. But if I am interested in looking at FanDuel only, I can do that. Under the next heading, lines, you can add things like rotation number, the current spread, the spread at open, the money line at open, uh, open and current over unders, as well as line moves. Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead right now and add the opening money line to my dashboard. In the BetQL analysis column, I could also add things like the total number of tickets we have right now percentage of tickets, but it might be helpful to also include a raw count. So I'm going to go ahead and add total number of public tickets on the money line to my view. Under team betting analysis, you can add general things like total games played, win loss percentage, home record, road record. Moving on to spread betting analysis, you can look at teams against spread records in a variety of ways. And totals betting analysis, kind of the same idea, but you are looking at game totals here. So I've added a couple different columns, and I changed from consensus to FanDuel. And once I have made those changes, I'll hit add settings at the bottom. You'll see these two additional columns came in. So before I had only current money line, but now I can compare that to the opening money line. So looking at the Astros, for example, I can easily see that they've gone from minus 260 to minus 280. You can also see the number of tickets that's based off of, and in this case, we have 240 tickets on the Astros. And you may not have caught it, but the odds would have also changed, again, because we went from the consensus view to the FanDuel view. And now, once I want to save my custom view, once I'm happy with the data that I have selected, I'm going to click on click to name this dashboard, and I will change it to custom view. And once I click on save, that is going to save it. So how can I access dashboards that I've previously saved? You can open up this folder to the left of the dashboard name. 
and you can see that I currently have four dashboards uh, saved, including the default, which you can always get back to. Um, let's just try clicking on this one called Everything. This is one I created that has uh, every statistic that we use. So it might be helpful to have a couple different dashboards that you can quickly switch between depending on what book you're betting at, what type of bet you're looking at, etc. So that is a quick overview of our web dashboard. We think it's a very powerful tool and we hope it helps you out as you uh, handicap games each morning.